Tesla has been rather straightforward about the fact that its ability to expand the manufacture of its 4680 batteries will be crucial to meeting its 23 goal of 20 million electric vehicles. This endeavor has proven to be particularly difficult, at least according to specialists. But Musk is pretty positive about this and revealed a shocking update about battery production. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this video today, we will talk about the new update on the Tesla 4680 battery. But before we start, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to get more videos like this. With that said, let's start. The 4680 cells, which were unveiled on battery day almost two years ago, are anticipated to give Tesla significant cost savings throughout manufacture. Several industry analysts have said that Tesla might reduce the price of a Model Y battery by using bigger cells in a dry coat electro technique. During battery day in September 2020, Tesla announced the 4680 battery, a cylindrical battery with a diameter of 46 mm and height of 80 mm. In comparison to the 27 battery, Tesla anticipates that the 4680 battery will have 5 times the capacity, 16% longer driving range, and 14% cheaper prices. The 4680 battery, a Li ion battery, gets its name from its cylindrical dimensions of 46 mm by 80 mm. The height and diameter of 18650 type and 21700 size batteries are both bigger. The 21700 battery that's now utilized in Tesla's electric vehicles will soon be replaced. Given its greater degree of capabilities such as charge cycle and better energy density, the 4680 battery type would be preferred in rechargeable and high current draining devices. With batteries, there's always a trade-off. Although iron phosphate cathodes are less expensive, their energy density is sacrificed. You sacrifice range to get power. Greater deterioration results from faster charging rates. But battery safety is also important. Although a pouch battery has the potential to be lighter than a prismatic, there are drawbacks. The key is finding the proper balance for the application. While easier to make, prismatic cells are produced more slowly. There are sophisticated production processes. Tesla can obtain remarkable power without substantially reducing range. Nevertheless, not many innovations have been made since the first lithium-ion battery. Tesla has a significant edge because of several technological advancements in its 4680 batteries. The dry battery electrode method and tabless design are the two major advancements. Currently, prismatic batteries are mostly used by domestic automakers. On a big scale, only Hyundai, Tesla, Daimler, Nissan, Renault, Volkswagen, and Volvo utilize cylindrical pouch power batteries. Car manufacturers, however, need some time to switch over to new battery types. According to the rate at which the 2170 battery is replacing the 18650 battery, if the 2170 battery is still widely used in 2022, the 4680 battery will progressively replace it by 2023 and completely by 2024. The usage of high nickel ternary cathode materials results in larger dimensions and greater battery capacity. A 16% gain in driving range will result from the 4680 battery's five times greater battery capacity compared to the 2170 battery, even though there's not a five times increase in energy density. Compared to other elements, lithium ions may fit into a cell more comfortably. This has helped lithium succeed since it can be packed in more densely than other elements. Graphite is obviously a lot more resilient. Nickel cathodes can accept more ions than iron cathodes. Using a thicker cathode may also result in higher lithium content. There is no need for more of the other components. Better energy density results from thicker cathode and anode materials. The tablet structure makes it possible to successfully manage thermal runaways. The low capacity of a single unit and the difficulty of spreading the heat released by a single electrical runaway or cylindrical battery cells benefits in terms of heat dissipation. Additionally, the arc-shaped surface somewhat reduces heat conduction between the batteries. Thermal runaway has a particular threshold in the cylindrical battery cell itself. The module portion has additional room for fault tolerance. Thermal management is not something that holds down Tesla. In comparison to the 2070 cells, the electrodes for the 4680 batteries are around 20 to 25% thicker. It implies that these cells are brilliant and collaborate on a variety of levels. Since the electrodes are thicker, the cell will have more electrodes than any other structure. As a result, there are fewer alternative metals with a similar energy capacity. Because there are fewer additional components in the cell, they're not increasing its power. Thermal management allows for this to happen. The cell is smaller and the electrodes are thicker. 
The cell has tabs all over it, and energy can move across much shorter distances. This might be the reason why 4680 batteries and 2170 cells are said to have identical energy densities. The energy density of 4680 batteries may potentially surpass that of a 2070 cell. The difference in cell count between the 2170 cylindrical power battery and the 4680 battery, which results in a greater space utilization rate and more effective assembly, is primarily responsible for the cost decrease. Additionally, to save costs, the 4680 battery uses less steel and battery separators than the 2170 battery does. But you can't expect all those advantages from this battery. After all, their name derives from the form factor, and producing the tabless design is simple. The structural battery pack is also used, but nothing more is present. These teardowns reveal that the cathode is NMC811 and the anode is graphite, indicating that the internal chemistry is the same as that of the earlier 2170 cell. This excludes faster charging times or greater energy density. Additionally, it indicates that this cell continues to employ cobalt mining, which harms the environment and raises ethical issues, and that is still susceptible to increase in nickel prices. Making matters worse, the energy density is further decreased by the cell walls, being three times thicker than a 2070 cell. Because both coating techniques produce identical results, it is extremely difficult to tell whether an electrode has been dry coated or not. However, because this strategy creates a bottleneck, Tesla struggles to ramp up manufacturing. Only a small percentage of the cells make it through quality control as they attempt to manufacture new cells, which results in a sharp increase in the cost per cell. But if they succeed with this technology, the price per cell will drastically decrease. It seems to sense that Tesla would make a big deal out of the dry coating of the current 4680 cells. Therefore, it is likely that the existing 4680 cells are dry. The more sophisticated 4680 battery was anticipated to be used by the semi, but Musk shut it down. When questioned about using the batteries throughout the fleet, he responded, the semi doesn't use 4680s. He claimed that as they continue to increase the manufacture of the pack, they're now being employed in Model Y. The cells are basically placed in a resin block rather than being in a bolt-down type pack like every other EV, which furthers these cost savings. As a result, the chassis strength, handling, and safety of the vehicle are all enhanced by using the battery pack as a structural component. Assembling packets in this manner, however, is also significantly less expensive because the assembly itself comprises. There were also some important internal adjustments to the battery. The 4680 employs a silicon anode in place of a graphite one as the battery's negative terminal. Compared to graphite, silicon has a far greater capacity for lithium ions and offers less resistance to them. This increases the energy density of silicon anode batteries like the 4680 and their capacity to charge and discharge at considerably higher rates, resulting in faster charging periods and more power available for the automobile. Prediction is accelerated and greatly reduced in cost as a result. But the successful rollout of Tesla's 4680 cells is still only halfway complete. Although the EV manufacturer already benefits from using larger cells, growing its dry coat appears to be a problem for Tesla. The reason for this, according to the experts, is that Tesla is still having difficulty expanding its operations to the point where savings are significant since its dry coat electro technique is so new and attested. However, according to the publication sources, Tesla will probably be able to completely deploy the dry coat electro technique for its 4680 cells next year. Stan Winningham, a 2019 Nobel laureate and a pioneer in lithium ion batteries, is optimistic that Tesla will eventually overcome the difficulties posed by its production ramp for the 4680 battery. But he also believes that Elon Musk may have been overly optimistic when he set a target date for the introduction of the next generation batteries. According to the business, production of the 4680 cells quadrupled during the quarter and is still growing. The output of 4680 ramp ups, according to Musk, is increasing rapidly. In the future, it is going to be a significant bundle. They remain sure that the 4680 battery cell will be the most cost effective in the world. The power and range that the business has been promoting remain the same even if it's expected that the semi uses the 2170 battery. Musk stated, very important, no sacrifice to cargo capacity, 500 mile range. Just to be clear, 500 miles with a cargo. The CEO also anticipated the figures once manufacturing increased in the ensuing years. 
upgrading semi manufacturing will continue during the next year. At this time, everyone is aware that it takes a year to scale up production. In North America, he's aiming for 50,000 units in 2024. So, what's your take on this new update by Musk? Let's know in the comments. That's it for the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more content like this, and we'll see you in the next one.